Today, I'm going to be talking about how you can improve your Cine 4 footage when color correcting and color grading in DaVinci Resolve. Okay. So lately, I've been wanting to improve my color correcting and color grading skills. I was messing around in the color page tab and found some settings that actually helped me. And I wanted to share some of my knowledge with you guys. And with that being said, let's jump right into DaVinci Resolve. All right, so I've started my new project and I have my clip here in the uh, media pool. I'll take it and uh, drop it right into the timeline. It's not the timeline, it's the cut page right here is the timeline. All right, so take this clip and drop it in here to the timeline. Once that's done, I will go to the color page at the bottom of the screen right here. So you'll make some nodes, create some nodes, and go to open FX and search for color space transform. Color space transform. And you'll drop it onto your node. And we have a bunch of different settings in the color space transform. So what you want to do in the input color, in the input color space, we will change it to Sony S Gamut 3 Cine. Right here. First, let's go, let's get a hero shot. Let's get a... Okay. Um, so, Sony S Gamut 3 Cine. And then we'll go to the S RGB. S G S R G B. And then for output color space, we will go to rec 709. Output gamma, same thing, rec 709. And then in the tone mapping method, we will go to luminance mapping. And then here in gamut mapping, we'll choose saturation mapping then what we'll do we'll go to the second node and we'll just make some adjustments in our gamma and gain if we look over here at the scopes we can see that uh, we need to bring up the lift so let's do that and then it looks like the red channel is a bit uh, higher than the rest so we'll bring that down in the primaries bar and then the green is a little bit high lower that too lower the red again lower the blue lower the green a little bit more lower the red and just basically you'll just go back and forth until everything is uh, lined up basically all right that's looking good let's go back to the primaries wheels gain a little bit Darken it a little bit more. Use some contrast. Pivot. And that's what it looks like with just the LUT. And this is fixing everything so it looks a whole lot better. Though that looks like there's a little bit of green in the shadows, but you get the idea. So all we did was take the color space transform effect and we put it on this third node and then the second node we adjusted the gain gamma and lift and bam you have a good looking image before after like magic if you enjoyed the video leave a like feel free to subscribe also you can find me on instagram facebook twitter and linkedin uh, the links will be in, in the notes below thanks for watching and until next time eat sleep and dream films and i'll see you guys in the next video